Hey everyone, welcome to our podcast, Expert Tips from the self advocates of ADEC. My name is Emily and I will be your host. I'm here with Troy Smith, the head of my production team at ADEC. And today we're just going to talk a little bit about what Expert Tips is and what you can look forward to in the future. Well, thank you, Emily. Can you tell everyone what self-advocacy means? You know, I think we talk about it a lot here, but uh, not everyone might uh, know exactly what that term means. So what does self-advocacy mean and what does it mean to you? Yeah, sometimes I forget that not everybody knows the word self-advocate, just specifically. And to me, I feel like self-advocacy or self-advocates are people who are willing to stand up for themselves and people who are willing to stand up for themselves and, and but not just stand up for themselves but also just like go out in the community and show them that we have these rights. Absolutely. I know you're part of a self-advocacy group, right? But you also right. have a, a particular role in that group. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, I'm a president of that self-advocacy group. So what does being a president mean for a self-advocacy group? What do you do? Uh, well, as the president, I feel like being a president of an advocacy group it usually means maybe it includes some, like giving out ideas about how to put ourselves out in the community and how we can discuss like the kind of rights that, that we deserve, the freedoms that we, that we need and want. Mm -hmm. When you think about this podcast, Emily, and expert tips from self-advocates, what do you think about? What, what is something that's important to you for people to hear? The most important thing to me is being able to get our voices out. So I thought it was going to be kind of funny like, to mention, like, like, so this is our podcast, Expert Tips for our self-advocates of ADEC. But I'm not an expert. I, I'm weird. I'm a weirdo. And, and this is who I am. <laughs> I love it. So what kind of things do you want to talk about on the show? What do you think people are going to be hearing in our future episodes from the podcast? Well, we're going to be seeing a lot of different types of guests here and there. Mm -hmm. It could be like friends, other people with disabilities. So from the members that you know that are part of the self-advocates group that you're president of, what are the kind of things that they like? What are things that they would want to talk about on the show? I know a lot of clients, like, and not just specifically like in other settings, in other day programs, but in my own day program, I have a lot of friends that love talking about sports. And they are very mm -hmm. passionate about it. No, that makes sense. And do you know what, what kind of sports are they into? Basketball, baseball, football. Now, do you play any sports? I've been playing basketball since the third grade. It started out just like shooting hoops at mm -hmm. my driveway. And, and I would do it like on the shoulders of my dad to like go me now and actually going on leagues like with special olympics mm -hmm. as well as my own school like i did it once in sixth grade now do you think that there are barriers for as you mentioned like the group the clients here at adec or even that you've experienced when you've wanted to be a part of sports but you know has, has there been any challenges that you faced, whether it's access or anything like that, anything that anyone shared with you? I remember like just growing up with a disability, it's kind of hard to like feel like you are accepted. Hmm. Like even when I was in school, I, I didn't even know that I was like popular or not. And yet somehow I became prom queen. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. So do you still feel that today? Do you feel like it's still a little bit hard to um, really know how people, what people are thinking about you or? Well, I, in general, I have a hard time speaking to people. Mm -hmm. 
sometimes. I tend to be in my head a lot. I tend to like escape in whether it's like my phone or the computer. It's it's easy to get lost in screens or your own head and your own imagination. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's outside of a place you may not feel completely comfortable in, uh, in being. So what are things that you are excited about for this podcast? When you think about, hey, I get this platform to share things that I'm excited about, share things that I'm passionate about. You know, I know you have your own platform, a blog that you write on as well. Um, and you are definitely, you know, you, you listen to other podcasts and you know, think about those things. What, what are you excited about? sharing with the community just branching out with my platform mm -hmm. in general like as you said i do have a blog but also i don't really have like a speaking role like i never got to do what like a lot of the the video bloggers would typically do mm -hmm. there's a word for that it's called vloggers mm -hmm. like if, if you didn't mm -hmm. know about that it's like a vlogging. Video blog vlogger, yeah. right? That makes sense. But instead of like doing this with a, like a video, like I get to have a chance with just like spreading out and maybe to start becoming a more of an influencer almost mm -hmm. in a way. And what do you think that impact can have? You being an influencer, what do you think that could do to help the community? to help show people if they feel like if they don't have a voice, I hope that I can help people to feel like they're not as voiceless, that they have a chance to have one. Mm -hmm. And this podcast is going to be a great opportunity for that, right? Having yeah. people on the show as guests who get to share. Uh, maybe you have a disability and you haven't had the chance to have a platform, have a voice. Well, now you do. You know, come on, expert tips by 8X Self Advocates and share what you're passionate about. Share the things that you love to do and uh, the ways that you do it well and, you know, make an impact. Now, what are your dreams, Emily? What, what are the things that you aspire to be? Well, <laughs> when we are talking about dreams, a huge thing I've always wanted to be was like an influencer in a way. So in a way, I'm kind of already reaching towards that goal. Mm -hmm. But also, like I wanted to be like a business person. I want to have my own brand, my own business, and be able to just expand my horizons. And maybe if I could, maybe even be like an actor. Now, being a president of self-advocates, you work a lot with other individuals who may have disabilities, but maybe they've never had that opportunity or confidence that you have to even dream uh, about those things that they want to be. Or maybe they have those dreams, but they haven't even taken a step towards that yet. What would you say to them? What's your message to uh, your friends and peers um, on you know, stepping out, trying to accomplish their dreams? It may come off like very intimidating, but also in a lot of ways, it's exciting. This is, if you're not scared of your dreams, you are not dreaming big enough. That's a good line. I like it. Thank you. Yeah, now I need to think about, am I scared enough? Am I dreaming big enough, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, because if you're not, pushing yourself, why not dream bigger, right? Yeah. Well, so looking ahead, expert tips by self-advocates, we're gonna be inviting exciting people on the show, giving them an opportunity to have that voice, talk with you, our host, Emily, and really get to share those things that they're passionate about, talk about those dreams. You might get to encourage them to dream bigger uh, and some really exciting things to look forward to. So is there anything else you'd like to add, host Emily? Uh, I just can't wait to get started. <laughs>